Okay, let's try this again. Um, all right, when I left you last, I had gotten to Las Vegas and stayed with my brother for a couple days. Um, and then uh, from there, I headed back down I-15 all the way in to Victorville. Victorville, I stayed for um, with my uncle there for a little bit. And then this trip will begin in Victorville. And what we're going to do is we're heading up uh, 395, I believe. Um, and we're going to head up into the Kern River area up in the Sierra. We stayed, I stayed at a place called Kennedy Meadows. And um, I stayed another place, but I'm not really, I don't remember the name of it up, but I don't have any video of it. I don't know what happened to that. Um, Stayed one night along the Kern River, went down into Kernville, got gas, came back out, and then I went down Chimney Peak Recreational Area. That's this road across here, really nice dirt ride. That was a lot of fun. And did a lot of little offshoots back up in here, Baldy Peak, stuff like that. So that's going to be this video. And then uh, from there, I ended back up in Victorville. So for now, that's uh, what this video will take. All right, we're, uh, we just turned off uh, 395. We're out here in Poor Man's Peak, uh, I guess it's a, a mining area. Um, this seems to be a um, off-road vehicles area. I thought I'd go in. Apparently there, there's a club mines back here. So for other members to come and prospect for gold. And I just thought, uh, let's go back in, see if uh, see what we see, and hopefully uh, won't run into too much sand. The roads look pretty good, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, this is just a side trip. Uh, we're almost to Inyo Kern, and uh, from there we may head up in the mountains. I'm not sure. The weather seems to be real nice out here in the desert, so uh, we may play around in the desert some more. Anyway, um, let's get this together and we'll head on out. So this is the road that we're going to be traveling, um, at least for a ways. We'll see where it goes, and whether it's of interest or not. And uh, there's kind of a panorama of where we are. And uh, you can see the vehicles up there. Lower desert down that way, and uh, yeah, we're about uh, uh, probably about 70 80 miles almost, uh, probably about 80 miles from uh, Victorville right now, and heading north on 385 395. So let's see where we can go with this. Okay. Up. 
This was the uh, headquarters of the Lost Dutchman Mine Association. It's a group of, uh, like I said earlier, uh, prospectors that have uh, made a club so that uh, they could go out and mine a particular area. And uh, so they come out and camp out here and uh, wander the hills looking for gold. So it's uh, kind of a unique uh, club. Um, apparently there's a few more back in here, but I guess they're the largest. Uh, they own most of this land. The road we're on right now, I believe, is, is a public road, but uh, all the land around it there, there's some overhead, uh, wait, off-highway vehicle roads back towards the highway, and there may be some more. But uh, in this immediate area, that's uh, what's going on. So the people were real nice, and uh, it's a cool little place. Uh, and I guess they do welcome guests, but uh, I was just asking, well, you know, it's okay that I ride the roads. I didn't want to be trespassing or anything. So uh, we're on with the trip now. Maybe we'll head back out though on that uh Looks nice and deep over on the far side, like you can swim. But that water is cold, man. I went down here to try to go for a swim, and I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. But uh, anyway, so this is the river. Late afternoon on the river. really quite pretty. Anyway, there were a couple of earlier, a couple of kayakers came down and were going downstream. That was kind of cool. Be a fun, fun ride. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and I've got. To... Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm heading into Kernville right now. It's uh, I don't know what time it is. Anyway, it's pretty early in the morning. It's a little chilly, and uh, we're riding along the Kern River, and uh, it's just so beautiful. I thought I'd better put this on. It's not dirt, but. Uh, it's still stunningly beautiful. Anyway, let's uh, get on with this, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you see, and hopefully it all comes out. 
it's uh here's where we are this is uh Right now you can't see the full canyon. There are rivers right down there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees, probably not. But you will shortly. So let me get my glasses on and my gloves and we'll move out. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I certainly am. Oh, look at those cliffs. Huh. Look at that, the cliffs are, the rocks are green on the mountain there. It's like moss on them. And, let's see if I can get a look back up the canyon. Okay, that's where we're coming from, and that's where we're headed. So, let's go. This is where we're at right now. I'm going to go for a swim. I don't know if I can find a place to mount the camera, but uh, I think I can find something. Oh, 
Okay, let's hope we got this. Um, yeah, I'm on the way back up to Sherman Pass and heading up the hills. I just wanted you guys to see these mountains. Um, they're quite spectacular, I think. Anyway, and then uh, back over here. I hope you can see. The camera gets a little tilted, so. That's as far as I can go. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to stop and uh, show you this. The pass is up off to the right. Uh, we just passed 5,000 feet and the pass is 9,000, I think, uh, 800. I'm not positive. I think it, it might be in. Yeah. Okay, we're up here at Sherman Pass in Sequoia National Park. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. The, it got the sign. I don't think you can read it. Um, anyway, here's the view. It's pretty spectacular. I'm going to spin you around. So, we will get a better view in a little bit. We're going to head over to uh, Baldy Mountain, I think. And I think that may be it straight out in front of us. I'm not positive. But uh, here's the pass. View. All right. Um, let's see what uh, what do they got here? Baldy Mountain. Look out. Yeah. So that's Baldy Mountain there. We're gonna go up that. I uh, went out the, the other day and uh, the damn camera wasn't working. So hopefully this time it's gonna work. So let's see. What's it say? Here. Okay, we're 9,200 feet. You can see much of uh, Kern Plateau and the Sequoia Forest on a clear day. You can see beyond the uh, 405,160 acre plateau to Mount Whitney about 40 miles away. So that's probably out in that direction or it could be that mountain there. It's pretty damn tall by itself. Um, let's see. Okay, we're heading up Baldy Mountain, uh, to, to Baldy Mountain Lookout. It's a two mile long trail. I went up it before, it's a killer drive, just stunning. And we're going to go up and see if the ranger's up on the top. Anyway, so off we go.
come up with a look at, but uh, it's like kind of like a little Yosemite. Anyway, it's going up. Okay, we're hiking up to Baldy Mountain Lookout. So I just thought I'd throw on a little of the trail and then we get up there and we should have a really good view of everything all around. So this is the trail. Here's some of the scenery. I don't know if you guys can see all the mountains off in the great distance, but uh, that's definitely the High Sierra. And uh, back through those trees, Mount Whitney and Mount Langley. I'm not sure which is which, but uh, Whitney being the tallest mountain in uh, continental United States. I think I said that on another video, but I'll throw it in here. Anyway, I'm going to turn you off real quick until we get to the top. Okay, there's the, there's the lookout. That's where we're headed for. So, a bit of a walk yet. But uh, anyway, should get good for me to get off the bike. Okay, I'm turning it off again. Okay, here's the uh, tower. And uh, we're right here at the top of uh, Baldy Mountain. What I understand, the tower is closed, but uh, anyway, there's the facilities, and uh, let's get to the top so we can kind of see what's uh, going on. Oh. Give you a shot back the way we came. Look at that. That's like half dome in Yosemite almost, but a very dry valley, nothing like Yosemite, but stunning. And then we go out this way 
then I got something for you up here. We got the High Sierra. Now, I can't really tell you what mountains we're looking at. I think that was the one when we were at, uh, at Sherman Pass. It, um, I can't remember it though. But when you go across this way, then I'm guessing one of those peaks is Langley, straight out that way. And then the other one's Whitney, and Whitney might be possibly the one to the left, the farthest with the cloud on it. Any one, one of those could be Whitney and Langley, and I don't know what those are but and I hope you guys can see that because this camera is not the best but uh, anyway and then this is the way we came up right down here the bikes uh, somewhere down here I think it's right uh, around the side of that mountain there Oh, no, it's not. We got There's the trail going down here. Okay, there's the trail goes down that way. So, excuse me. I'm a little confused. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap this up and turn this off. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, we're on uh, a trail to... We're going to end up over in Black Meadows. It's about seven or eight miles away. I'm going to run up there, get some water, and uh, it's dirt riding. So my camera seems to be charged, so we're going to take advantage of that and we'll film this ride. Um, I have no idea what it's going to look like. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see where we go. So today's adventure is hopefully just that, an adventure. All right, you guys ready to rock and roll? We're take the bike. Okay, everything's set. Good.
this is getting sketchy too. I think I could get lost out here. No, it's just me. Where are you headed? Maybe, yeah, good. Yeah, I was, uh, I talked to this guy that lives up here at uh, Kennedy Meadows. He said that one of these roads takes you all the way over to Black Meadow, and then you come out in the pavement over by the ranger station or eight miles. But uh, I got back in there and started forking off too many places, and I go, I got no maps, and I got no, you know, so. I just figured I'd better turn around. So, so you went up this, came up this way and coming back now? Yeah. How far up does it go? How far did you go? Um, I'm about another mile, mile and a half, and then you'll come, you go down, kind of dip through, kind of like a creek bed, and then come up, and then it, it's a four-way, you know, and it's random. There's no real clear path. And, yeah. And I. This, so you came up from the pavement down here, so yeah, you know where you are. Now. Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to, but, uh, you know, once I get to a point that I think I can't remember or it's going to get confusing if I have to backtrack, yeah. I figure I better turn around. Well, my GPS still knows where I am, so I figure I'm not too far off. Well, my, my GPS hasn't got a clue and neither do I. <laughs> You're at Bonita Flats. Oh, the, hey, that's... Now you know, That's right? That's something. All right, well, I have no time. idea where that is, but... All right, well, you take care. Enjoy yourself. You too. You too. Beautiful day for a ride. Yeah. Uh, we've broken camp in uh, Kennedy Meadows and we're on our way down to uh, Victorville and we're going to take a road from 41 over to 178. It's called uh, Chain Break Road, or at least on my map it says that, and uh, it goes into the Chimney Peak Recreational Area. Um, so sit back and enjoy. I certainly did. Aloha. This 
video is the longest of uh, videos so far in this series. I just wanted to let you know um, it's a uh, it covers quite a bit of ground. We're probably covering almost uh, 30 miles here. So, and, and it was so beautiful, I just couldn't cut it up any smaller. So, I hope this is uh, you guys enjoy this because it was just beautiful to go through this. Anyway, you guys take care and uh, enjoy the ride. Talk to you later. Bye.
off the canyon that way is Lake Isabella. And then we're going to head out that road straight in front of us where it's real green. We'll be heading out that way and up those zigzags, I believe. And then, uh, and then we're on our way. That's uh, pretty much where we've been. Um, the road comes up that side, up to that point, if you can see that, and then cuts across underneath all those uh, jagged rocks and stuff. Anyway, so that's where we started, where we came from, and this is where we went. Approaching the end of the dirt part of the journey and our first water crossing. Um, we're just about to hit pavement and we will be turning left on 178 and then heading up towards Walker Pass 
and uh, the end of this part of the trip. From here on, we'll be heading into Victorville. So I hope you enjoyed this part. It's been one of the prettier rides that we've done so far. Aloha.